Okay, so I've just received this package from Oliver's Stickers. There's the... Oh, it's got my address on it. That's the invoice anyway. I'll have to blur that out. So, there is a... Uh, an Oliver's Stickers sticker. <laughs> Um, it's basically like a business card, but it is an actual sticker. Um, so here we have a uh, set of Hellraiser stickers for the 3x3. Some um, globe stickers for the square one. Some Rex eye stickers, which I'm really interested in. Well, I'm really interested in all of these stickers, but especially these ones. Stickers for the rainbow cube, and then um, we have stickers. Well, these are for a bandaged uh, Mega Minx, and these are for a bandaged Pyraminx crystal. Um, I think one of these is called a Bi Minx, and the other one is called a a Brill Minx or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, when I when I saw these on Oliver's stickers, I just assumed they were like. Um, for a bandaged Megaminx. Um, I never noticed that it actually said Crystal Pyraminx on the web page um, and it was after I ordered them when I realised that they're actually for the Crystal Pyraminx but it's you know it's no big deal because I've already got these um, bandaged stickers for the Megaminx and um, I like the idea of a bandaged uh, Crystal Pyraminx anyway. So um, let's take a look at these stickers. Uh, Take a look at these ones first. So these will make your three by three look like the uh, the Hellraiser cube, is it called? Out of the film Hellraiser horror film. It's a good film, by the way. I mean these these stickers they're really nice quality. Like this this gold, it's kind of like a a satin gold. So that's those. Next up are some globe cube stickers. Maybe I'm zoomed in a little bit too much there. Uh, original design 2010. So when I tried to order these, uh, Oliver didn't actually have any in stock, so he had to cut them himself. Um, so uh, yeah, there they are. I think these are much nicer looking than the uh, the Earth stickers because the Earth stickers, um, the uh, the blue C on them is like a really dark blue, but this is a much lighter blue, um, which I much prefer. And you can see, like with the Earth stickers, um, the blue C it's it's just it's just a dark blue and there's no detail on it, like you can see on these ones. A lot of detail in the sea there. So I'm not really sure what kind of um, what colour square one to get to to put these on. Um, ideally, I'd like a light blue square one, um, but you know there aren't any for sale anywhere. Um, so I'm not sure whether these would look best on maybe a white square one. Or a, uh, a a clear plastic square one. I don't know. Cool. I wish I'd got these globe stickers instead of the Earth stickers for the uh, for the cube and the uh, the four by four now. So these are the Rexi stickers. So I really, really enjoy solving the Rex Cube. 
um, this, these stickers will obviously make it more of a challenge. I'm not going to stick a direct cube that I've already got. I'll just um, I'll just buy another one to stick a. Um, and I just think I think the Rex cube with these stickers on it uh, looks really fantastic anyway. I think someone on YouTube who is subscribed to me and I'm subscribed to him, I can't remember his, his name, um is is a is a Cuba. I think I think it was him who came up with this idea for the eye stickers. Now on to the uh the rainbow cube stickers. Now the reason why I got these is because um I wasn't really happy with the stickers, um, with these original stickers on my rainbow cube. The reason why is because uh, these pink stickers, which look almost red, and these red stickers, they're so so difficult to tell apart. Um, so that was that was kind of annoying when I was solving it because sometimes um, I'd I'd look at a piece, uh, you know, with a pink sticker on it and I'd be thinking it's a red sticker and I'd move it over to where the, the red um, stickers are and it wouldn't, you know, it, obviously it wouldn't work because it's not the right piece since it's a pink sticker instead of a red sticker if you know what I mean. Um, it just depends on the lighting really. In, in certain lighting um, they're a little bit more easy to tell apart but they're still quite difficult to tell apart and then in other types of lighting they look almost identical so um, I decided to to get a set of stickers for it. I really wanted to get either some chrome ones or some fluorescent ones at first. Because I really like the way fluorescent stickers look and I really like the way chrome stickers look. But then I thought, you know, well, you know, would fluorescent stickers really suit um, an Illuminous uh, puzzle? Would chrome stickers really suit an Illuminous uh, puzzle? And to be honest, I don't really think um, they'd suit it, so I just went with uh, with the normal colours. So we've got a nice light blue there. Lime. A light brown. Grey. Black. I don't think there's any black stickers on this. Oh yeah, there is. But they're kind of like a very faded black. Pink, uh, violet, darker pink. What's that? A chocolate brown, I think. I think I think these stickers kind of have a sparkly effect to them. If you look at them closely, um, maybe, or is it just me? I don't know. Now I think I think it's just the way they look through the uh, the viewfinder. Red, yellow, orange, green, white, and dark blue. So here we have the, uh, the stickers for a bandaged Mega Minx. Now there's no mass-produced bandaged Mega Minx, me me Mega Minxes, so I'm going to make my own. Um, here we have a QJ Mega Minx, um, which I've already. D stickered. Um, so I'm not gonna just put these stickers straight onto it because, like these these stickers for the bandaged bits, you're still gonna have gaps underneath the stickers which will be visible, and I don't really like the look of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually the parts of the puzzle that are bandaged. Um, obviously, I'll glue them together with super glue. And then I'll uh, fill in the gaps with milliput, so then it should have a much nicer look when it's uh, when it's stickered. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to this mod.
Hopefully this camera angle is much better than the camera angle on my last video. I really wasn't happy with the way my last video turned out. Just really didn't like the, the camera angle at all. Got a nice burgundy there. So you can see each set of stickers um, to do kind of the bandaging is, uh, is different. Really nice light blue there. Black. Hmm. Well, I think black stickers can look okay on black puzzles, I suppose, but maybe there's a set of white stickers in here as well, which I can use instead of the black. Yeah, we've got white. And some more black stickers. So these are for a bandaged um, crystal pyramids again, there's no mass produced ones so I'll have to make my own, um, I already do, I already do have a crystal pyramid, um, but I want to I wanna just keep that one how it is and I'll buy another one to, uh, to modify, like, uh, like what I'm going to do with this Mega Minx. Let's try and get these stickers out. See this one, it's a bit different from this one. <clears throat> or is it just turned the other way around? Um, no, it is different. Interesting how there's no border around this, um, around these orange stickers. Man, that is a re that is a really dark blue. I did think for a second is that actually black, but I'm sure it isn't. I can't even solve the uh, the original crystal pyramid yet. Um, I can get I can get quite far. Um, I just get stuck with with the uh, with the last layer. And I haven't got around to uh, to watching a tutorial yet. So there you go, um, some really cool stickers from Oliver's stickers. Um, we have a set of uh, stickers for a bandaged crystal pyraminx, set of stickers for a bandaged mega minx. Set of stickers for a uh, for the rainbow cube, which is surprisingly a really really fun puzzle. Um, usually, when puzzles are really simple and intuitive, um, usually I don't find them that fun to solve. I kind of find them a bit boring. But for some reason, I really really enjoy solving this one. Um, Rex eye stickers for the Rex cube. Another. Uh, puzzle that I really enjoy solving, but it's not it's not a simple one really, it's not that simple. Um, Hellraiser stickers. Yeah, I'll have to be careful with how I solve the cube once uh, these stickers are on it. Um, I'm sure anyone who's watched the film will know what I mean. Anyone who hasn't watched the film probably won't have any idea of what I'm talking about. And um, a set of some really nice looking globe stickers for the square one. Yes, yeah, maybe totally regret getting earth stickers now for 
um, some of my other puzzles and so I much prefer I just much prefer the way these look I love the lighter blue I love the fact that you've got detail in the sea um, I prefer the way the the, uh, the continents look as well there's like you know the colours just look nicer and lighter and there's more detail in them yeah so that's pretty much it thanks for watching